a growing trend in higher education that we're excited to amplify. HBCUs, also known as historically black colleges and universities, because of their mission to educate black Americans, are reporting an uptick in student enrollment. That increase has been building for the last 10 years, and the trend plays out in many institutions across a solid swath, swath of the South and the Eastern portions of the United States. We're seeing it at Morgan State University in Maryland, as well as North Carolina A&T State University, Spelman College and Clark Atlanta University in Georgia, and Howard University in Washington, D.C. All of these schools are seeing growth in their student populations. That as other traditional universities are seeing a 2.5% decline. HBCUs are bringing in tens of millions of dollars from wealthy private donors and corporate giants. And both Nicole Hannah-Jones and Ta-Nehisi Coates recently decided to teach and bring millions of dollars to Howard University instead of going to a predominantly white institution. These institutions have also produced a plethora of African-American leaders in every field, including civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., NASA mathematician Katherine Johnson, Microsoft chairman John Thompson, of course, actor Chadwick Boseman, and Vice President Kamala Harris. All of them are proud HBCU alumni. So can this HBCU enrollment boom lead us to a 21st century renaissance? You can answer that question by joining the conversation right now on social media. Where in all the things, tweet me, Facebook me, Instagram me. Be sure to go to BNC's YouTube, like, share, subscribe there, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. There'll be more of Amplified ahead.